fellow teachers, here I'm going to show you how to use phototeach.com so you can make up wonderful slideshows to go onto your blog. First you'll need to sign up for a free account, so you'll need to enter a username, you may want to use a school email and set up a password. I'm going to log in using my class account. This is the home page and we can click upload photos and I'm going to upload some photos from Christmas when we were working with foundation. All I've done here is I've uh, left clicked and I'm dragging the mouse to select all the photos all together. If you do want to preview the photos before you upload them you can click on this button here to change the view to thumbnail so you can actually see what photos you're uploading. You can also hel hold down control as you click on each individual photo. Here we have 23 photos that are uploading. What I suggest you do is that you open up a post. So I'm going to go to my blog. I'm going to go to all posts. And I'm going to add a new blog post. As you can see, it's defaulted to the HTML setting. The visual setting is the one that you normally use to post up your blog posts. But HTML is the one that you need to do if you want to add anything like uh, flash or text which, which are fun ways to show text on your blog or things like photo picture when we start doing audio boom. I'm going to see how the photos are doing, about halfway there. Now the great thing about photo pictures is that you can actually use the music they've got or select music from YouTube that you can add to your photo pitch. Looks like the children had a lot of fun in foundation. Okay, once the photos are uploaded, it will show you the quick upload screen. And this is where you can decide on the order of the photos because you can swap them around like this. So just click and drag and swap them around. And if there's any photos that you decide that you don't want to use, you can move them over into the deleted items. Now I'm going to click on next. I've got the option to select music. I'm going to give need to give it a title. actually decide on the speed of your presentation this can be changed later on when we go and preview your show there are other things that you can edit including adding captions to each of your photos now we can select music so you can do the random selection instrumental or classical and you can also search YouTube I'm going to search for some Christmas music and search for Santa Claus and we'll select this one here and you can preview it before you add it. Once you're happy, what you can do is click finish or you can go through other options. When you click finish, this is the final screen. You've got the option of downloading or editing your presentation. I'm just going to pause the music and as you can see down here you've got the music previewed. Now if you click on edit you've got the option of how it is viewed. What you need to do is select um, public so that it can be viewed and select category as in education. Now this is safe on photo pitch because we haven't actually identified who the children are. You can also click on edit caption and photos and this is where you can actually add captions to any of the photos. We can add captions to all the photos. You can also decide where the text is centered. I'm going to leave that for the moment and just click OK. I'm just going to pause it again. Now, as you hover over the presentation, you, you've got options here. You go to the second to the bottom, this is where you can embed it into the blog. If you click on the embedding blog, you're given two options. One to show as a story, which is a similar slideshow to PowerPoint or you can share it as a spiral, so you can see the photo spiraling. If you click copy, it will copy the code. I'm going to go back to my blog post, 
and I'm going to right click and paste the code in. I'm going to save draft so that I can show you a preview. So we're going to preview our photo peach. It's got a title there, and as I scroll down, there's my photo peach. I've got the sound down at the moment, so I can turn that up. And there is my photo peach. So what you can now do is go back and publish your photo peach. Hope you found this useful teaching.